Today's youth need teachers, volunteers, and most of all, well, they need you. I'm Doug Edwards, and I'm going to be talking with real youth mentors and students to give you the knowledge you need to be the best youth worker possible. This is Youth Worker on Fire. So here's a thought, and here's a verse, and I'm going to read it first out of the Amplified Bible, and it says this, Now to him who is able to carry out his purpose and do super abundantly more than all we dare ask or think, infinitely beyond our greatest prayers, hopes, or dreams, according to his power that is at work, within us. That's the Amplified Version. Amplified Version. And so that's Ephesians 3.20. And usually the way, one of the ways we hear it is our God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask or think. And one of the versions I really liked was now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his glory that is at work within us, immeasurably more. I always like that word. But, uh, you know, uh, the Amplified Bible, it just like takes it up a notch, which it has a tendency to do. And so today, I want to talk about that and get you flowing in a way of maybe thinking beyond where you normally think. For many of us, we have a tendency to hold on to what is safe, what's good enough, and or familiar. We've been taught that safe and normal is better than letting go, and courageous is better than than letting go and being courageous. Dreams are for those other people but not for you, not for me. It's for those other people out there that, you know, they're untouchable. They're they're people that aren't like us. But when we look throughout Scripture and throughout the history of the Bible and the history of Christianity, it seems like really God uses normal people. And people have a lot of messed up things happening in their life. Why is that? Well, I think it's because he gets the credit and everybody knows it was him and not them. Chris Voss of the Black Swan Group says it this way, never be so sure of what you want that you wouldn't take something better. I thought that was so profound when I heard that the first time. And I thought, I can't wait to share this with people who want to hear it. And hopefully you wanted to hear that today and you needed to hear that today. See, God always has something better. But there will always be forces in our life, good forces, good people, a family, people who will try to pull us back. Well, uh, you know, don't don't think so, you know, big that you're you're going to be disappointed, and uh, be careful because you could be hurt. But God is interested in bold people and bold prayers. He thrives on people like that. And sometimes he uses very weak people that would have no boldness, but puts that boldness in them. And but he loves bold actions and bold requests. Rick Warren said Saddleback had about a thousand people in Bible study on Wednesday night. But they that wasn't their that wasn't their goal. That wasn't what they wanted. And so they canceled that Wednesday night Bible study so they could go for the goal that they wanted. And they ended up with 32,000 people in small group Bible studies throughout California. And they're in the Saddleback area, Laguna Beach, uh, and Newport Beach are just right direct west of them, that area, southern, southern Los Angeles. But now 32,000, and so, and I know there's many, many, many more because I heard that from him, you know, more than five years ago. 
And termination is often the key to future innovation. What have you given up to go forward? And we've talked about this before with a guy by the name of Peter Drucker, who was Rick Warren's mentor, one of his mentors. And Peter Drucker was a mentor to many. And Peter always asked, what have you given up? Don't tell me what you're doing. Tell me what you've given up before you do it. And he's not the only one who says that, the only one who knows that. You know, the joke behind all of this, you know, something better, are we willing to give up, you know, the average or or something like that for something better is the, uh, or something, you know, that we really want is the guy that's falls off the cliff and he's holding on to a branch. And if he lets go of the branch, it's his uh, sure death. He's a long ways up and he starts crying out to God, God, are you there? Is anybody up to God? Can you hear me? I need you to rescue me. And he hears a voice from heaven. And the voice from heaven says, yes, I'm here. What do you want me to do? How can I get out of this? He said, let go of the branch. And there's silence. And the man starts speaking. Is there anybody else up there? <laughs> Does anybody else have a better answer, right? That's not the one I was looking for. God's always got something better, though, but he wants us to let go of the branch. He wants us to let go of the normal, the common. Tim Tebow, who I've talked about, please forgive me if I say something about him again. I'm in a a devotional with some guys with his book, Mission Possible, and we watched his career. My my children and I did, my wife. and, And so one thing he says is, you know, I used to say to my parents, I just want to be normal. I just want to be like everybody else. He said, and in years, as years went by and as I went through college ball and the pros, I realized that normal people don't get things done. Normal people don't change the world. Being normal and being average is to be below God's standards. And so this verse I'm telling you again, because God wants us to be salt and light in the world. He wants us to be salt and light in our home. He wants to be salt and light in our community. He wants us to be salt and light as far as he wants to take us and wherever we go. And that's not an easy thing. But we definitely cannot be average because the average person, the normal person is in protect mode and doesn't want to shine. In fact, there's many people that don't even want to be known. They'd rather just not be known. And it's funny how many of those people God uses too, because he says, no, I've got something more for you. You know, being quiet, being alone is not not what I've got for you. You've got light in you and you've got salt and we're going to share it. So what I want you to think about is what have you been praying for? And are you willing to take something better? Whatever you've been praying for, are you willing to take it to the next level and put yourself out where God wants you to be and say, God, how far do you want me to go? How much do you want me to pray for? How many can I help? And Lord, protect me so that I don't destroy my family (laughs) around me as I do the things that are farther and better because, God, you've always got more. And I'll remind you that in Matthew, that when Matthew's writings in the gospel that Jesus says, my yoke is easy, my burden is light, and when you come to me, I will bring a refreshing to your soul. So we're not talking about your will or your efforts or your big changes on your own, but when we lay it on God and say, God, what do you want from me? God, you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly, immeasurably more above all we ask or think. What does that look like? Where do you want me to go? Have a great day. All of you who are working with students and and have families and working with people that need to be encouraged, be encouraged that God wants immeasurably more for you. And the question remains, never be so sure of what you want that you wouldn't take something better.
God always has something better. You've been listening to the Youth Worker on Fire podcast. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and tell your friends. Also, leave a comment and tell us what you think. Stay tuned for more informative episodes.